Hello, and welcome to the session related to Plexus Designer Conceptual Models. My name is Marina Trevisoli, and I'll be walking you through the session. To provide a brief overview of the presentation, we will be examining the purpose of Plexus Designer and then discussing what is a conceptual model, along with what a conceptual model does, and how do you create a numerical model from a conceptual model. Plexus Designer is a geotechnical conceptual modeling software. It was created with the purpose to create, manage, and visualize a conceptual model. Conceptual models primarily include geometry, as well as some field instrumentation, and can be used to develop cohesive geometry for Plexis or Plexis LE numerical models. Model-specific properties are entering the analysis package. An example of analysis-specific properties are initial conditions or material strength model definitions. Plexus Designer primarily deals with developing 3D cohesive geometry in an expedite fashion. Conceptual models contain a collection of geometry and, an, and non-geometry objects that are organized in a tree-view control. Example geometry objects are regions, polylines, meshes, and model volumes. Examples of non-geometry objects are bounding boxes or excess formatting or site photos that are used as background reference in building geometry. At a core level, creating a 3D numerical model requires a closed volume. Volumes may be defined in a few different ways, but the primary concept of Plexus Designer is defining volumes with region and surface combinations. Enclosed material volume meshes may also be incorporated. However, this would be discussed in a separate presentation. Plexus Designer supports a number of geometry primitives in the software package. Geometry can be entered in a variety of ways, such as it can be drawn on the CAD window. Points can be entered in it directly into a table, or data can be linked to and imported from an external file. Data can also be modified by the user by converting the data type or translation, rotation, or scaling activities. There are also functions to handle intersections, as well as set operations and many more such functions in order to make data entry easy. A grid is a basic type of surface that can be represented in Plexus Designer. In a grid, each unity object is a rectangle, and all rectangles are at the same dimension in the surface. An example of a surface might be a surface that is imported from the surface software. Grids are easy to deal, but suffer from the issue that each rectangle could potentially be bent in the 3D space. Another type of geometry is the mesh. A mesh is a collection of 3D triangles and can be used to define a surface. The mesh can be set as indexed or non-indexed, and a good example of bringing meshes to Plexus Designer is the use of OBJ format file. Additional geometry types include polygons, which are a connected set of 3D points. Polylines, which are a set of connected 3D points that don't enclose an area. Regions, which are a closed set of connected 2D points with no z-coordinate. Regions act like cookie cutter objects that cut through all surfaces in a model. Scatter data can also be imported, which are a random set of unconnected 3D points. There are also advanced geometry types, which may be specified in Plexus Designer. These include volumes, which may be defined from combinations of regions grids, and perhaps meshes. Slices along a specific 2D plan can also be defined as cutting through existing surface and region combinations. Slices are always vertical and can be in any direction. They can also be viewed in 3D view. 
Cross-section objects are primarily used by the road building tool to extrude a specific cross-section through a numerical model for the creation of a specific constructed embankment or excavation type. An example of typical scenarios would be the building of a road or making a cut through a hill for, for a road. Cross-section objects are a collection of polygons and polylines and can be imported from other sources of 2D profile data. 3D numerical models can be created from volume objects. Once collections of surfaces and layers has been assembled into a module volume, then the module volume can be exported to a C-page or Stability 3D model. Model configuration options are selected during the exporting process. It's also worth it noting that multiply volumes can be defined in a single conceptual model in the scenario where there may be multiply geometries or geometry variations to be created in a numerical model. 2D models may be created from slices through a 3D conceptual model at a single or multiple location. Any particular slice defining designer may be exported as a numerical model. Product name, file name, whether a model is a steady state or transient is all defined during the export process. This process allows for easy creation of 2D numerical models from complex 3D geometry. It is easy to provide the location of these slices and perhaps export multiple versions of a 2D slice that are close together.